Hello, welcome to today's video where I'm making a sandwich. Cooking with Joey. Uh, I'm going to show you how to do a sandwich and the best way to make it. As you can see, I've slightly cheated by uh, preparing some slices of bread earlier. Now I'm going to be using the tolly and um, I'm what's known as a master butter man because I do the only sensible thing and you've just got to get your knife in and really dig around so that it's deceptively empty. Ideally you want a layer of butter across the top um, with nothing underneath it. When you're ready and you have a good enough bit of butter it's time for you to move on to the second roll. Now if your roll does break in half that's okay it's not a problem just 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 get spreading and uh, yeah there are no mistakes here as Bob Ross famously said just monumental fuck-ups there we go a nice somewhat even spread of batoli and make sure once you're done you just sort of you really just kind of go out of the butter make it as as messy as possible for the next person who uses it they will, they will really appreciate it once you've finished spreading stuff all over your bread you can use whatever you'd like for the spread part some people use crisps some people use like nutella uh, I prefer to use some olive spread such as batoli, but some people do prefer pure lard. And if you do prefer pure lard, that's absolutely fine. It's just a personal choice. Just make sure you fry your sandwich before serving. Um, next stage is the cheese. Now, I'm using a big block of cheese. So if you've got a big block of cheese and like me, you are using your cheese grater to hold your phone up for the filming, you can use this. It's uh, usually for um, peeling apples of the ground. Uh, commonly known as potatoes in some country and you just want to take it to your cheese and just oh yeah that's it nice good long thin strips and uh, just peel your cheese straight away just like that and we're going to keep going until we've done oh four or five cheese strips per sandwich okay that's important you don't want four or five between the sandwiches because then you won't get a very good cheesy taste. So let's just routinely peel that. Oh no, it's broken. Beep. Fuck. Fudge. This is such a mess. Whose idea was this? It's mental to use a peeler. God. I've done way too much cheese. Yeah, no. I think I got carried away. It was. It was not fun, no. It was... My fingers are, I think I peeled my thumb. Once you have got bread on top of your spread and cheese, next it is time to add meat. If you are vegetarian, please look away now. Um, this is ham and I'm going to put some ham on top of the, uh, the cheese. Uh, it will be it's quite, it's probably the easiest part, this. And, oh God, I've ripped it. Take your ham and just pop it on the cheese like that. Um, and then you, you've got, if I, yeah, that's fine. Uh, I like to use maybe two and a half slices of ham per sandwich, but where did this bit go? Um, but it's entirely up to you. As, as I said earlier there, you really can't make any mistakes with this. Now that you've got on one half of each of your sandwich the fillings, now comes the hardest part. And it's what we call in the pancake trade, the flip. So let's give it a go. Oh, nearly, and it came off my plate. Here we are, two perfectly made ham and or cheese sandwiches. Uh, you can skip any step we've mentioned apart from the batoli, uh, and you too can have a variation on my ham and cheese sandwich rolls. I hope you've found this educational and I will see you again next time when we do something else. Bye.
Cooking with Joey.